coach two years ago someone said how long is it going to take you to beat alabama and you said 60 minutes and you were right well you know nobody's ever beat them in less than that that That's i know about that um, Bill, it was a great win for us. It was an emotional win for us and, and um, one that we were mighty fortunate to win. Coach Bryant had said earlier that they would be the best that they'd been all year long, and he was exactly right. I, I, the films that I looked at of Alabama, I think they played better yesterday, and I've looked at the films today and, and studied it. Alabama played a really outstanding football game. Uh, they played hard. Coaching staff did a great job in game preparation, and and, uh, and they did everything but win the game. And of course, our staff did a great job getting our kids ready. And the thing that that won for us, of course, was the thing that has won for us at other times this year: not turning the football over and right. not making the mistakes that'll beat you. Uh, I thought our kicking game was outstanding. Lewis Colbert did a great job of punting the football and under a lot of pressure, and and uh, we didn't. The kicking game stood up, and in the, in the fourth quarter, um, I think is when you know when after uh, Bo made a long run, and we got the field goal. I think is the first time our players really realized that they could win the football game. Up until that point, it had been all Alabama, and, and it was, and, and we really, we, uh, you know, I can't decide whether we didn't play well or it was, Alabama was so good. I know that the kids wanted to win. I know they wanted to play hard. But it didn't look like we were playing as well as we have at times this year. I look down on the city of Birmingham, Alabama. On a day with a temperature in the low 60s, it is a gray, overcast kind of a day. Legion Field, however, is one of the most colorful places in the country, always when Auburn and Alabama get together. And the Crimson Tide will kick off. Terry Sanders, the sophomore from Birmingham, will hit the ball. Lionel James, the junior from Auburn, waits for it deep in the end zone. There will be no return. Campbell sets them up out of the wishbone formation, and they will run the triple option most of the time. But you can expect today probably to see him working some out of the line. The ball goes to Bo Jackson, the freshman from the 20. He's got two, and then two about from the 28-yard line as Campbell goes to the line on the option, goes outside with a quick drive, and it breaks to Bo Jackson, tries to get around the corner, slides across the 30. Against Harvard. And Walter Lewis back to throw on first down. He's going big for Joey Jones. He missed it. And it is incomplete. There was contact once the ball. Second down and eight for Auburn. They pick it inside. Here's Campbell's first pass of the day. Got a man. It's good. The pass is caught up at the 39-yard line by Chris Woods, the junior from Birmingham. On the intermediate patterns, and you can see Woods, number one, breaks to the outside. He cradles the ball inside. Oh, which ball? And Lewis. Down to the 45 for four yards. Greg Carr made the stop. A sophomore from Birmingham for Auburn. 33. And Lewis is... Keeps it himself, gets to 30 for three yards, hit hard by Chris Martin. Second down and 10, Lewis back. He looks over the middle, he's got a man, Jones! He's out of the end zone. Oh, they're giving him their touchdown! He dragged a foot! He looked like he was going to sail right out of the end zone, but he had to drag a foot down. And it goes for a 22-yard touchdown. Slips it deep. Go Carter has the ball. Fumble on the side of the ball. Pumped up in the air. It's a foot race to the goal line. And Lewis is after it. And Walter Lewis makes the goal line. Tim Trigger saving the touchdown. The ball popped up in the air. The quarterback blocked it. And away he flew for 62 yards. Auburn running about 37% on third down conversions over the season. They run a little delay to Lionel James. And touchdown. Great blocking by the Auburn offensive. 
Watch the block. Invite number 98 Klein to cross the line. He takes himself out of the plate. That's what creates the hole. Then the leading block, 64, leading right through there, makes a key block. And James, number six, takes it right in for the touchdown. Number 64 is Randy Stokes. What? When you cross up the defense. Three, Lewis, back to throw. Left. He goes to Ben Ross, Jesse's open and got it. And first down, Alabama at the Auburn 26. Pitch it wide to Patrick. And Patrick is spun down behind the line of scrimmage and number 28, Bob Harris, the strong safety, penetrated to make the play. 1982. It's up, plenty of leg on it, and it's good. Total 228 yards on offense, and Auburn 67 prior to that play, which is good to the 29 and close to a first down. And Walter Lewis fumbles the ball. It is picked up by the trailing back, Jeff Fagan, and a loss on the play back to about the 22. 15. From the 22, pressure forward. Lewis is. Throws a dime trail out there and it's picked off by Bob Hurt. He was getting pressure from the blind side and his arm must have been hit. <laughs> and Campbell wants to throw again. Goes center, has it on. Edwards. And Mike Edwards falls in. It's actually about nine and a half. And Lionel James a hole. And James almost loses the ball as he is hit. But he has enough of a handle to take it down at Go out of the wishbone and Campbell down the line, turns it, keeps it for the goal line, touchdown! position your coach has to try to analyze three linebackers are in tight they're going to reverse it get that ball back it goes and it's a delayed version of the old flea flicker now that turns into a screen and carrying the ball ricky Moore. lewis outside the roof touchdown Big sophomore from Ashburn, Georgia. Second time he's hit it from there. And the second time he has knocked it through. But this time it counts. That is a great part of the story of Auburn's failure to move the ball offensively against Alabama today. That pitch goes outside to Lionel James. And he gets it around. Bo Jackson. Out of the tailback spot. He breaks it big. Otherwise, they would have never caught him. At the Alabama 13, and they hand it inside. And goes to Greg Pratt, the pullback. 220 pounder, spins it down to about 60 of those to get the puck of it. Up there, and it's good. So, Del Greco hits 23. 
thought he was correct. I thought he was correct. Jackson had another two or three feet. And the big guy goes over the, over the top. Campbell goes to Edwards. To the 31 yard line and the first down. Big Mike Edwards pulled it in. The toughest place to defend by the defensive back is as close to the sideline as possible. And over the middle it goes for Chris Wood. It is intercepted by Castile. I think they're going to call Castile for pass interference. Lustily here at Legion Field on third down and goal. Campbell puts it up. He's got it to Bo Jackson. Jackson is down just short of the goal line. He's a foot away. Give him a three-point lead. First things first. Fourth and goal and a half a yard. Jackson. is the quarterback. He gets it off. It is incomplete and almost intercepted by Dennis Collier. Hit him right on the breath bowl. Lewis is dangerous. He's got enough room for his first down, but he throws the ball and it ricochets out of the hands of Ben Cross up at the 40. With a minute 53 to play. Lewis back. Loops it upfield, it is intercepted! He tried to touch the ball, and Bob Harris intercepted at the Alabama 30. His second interception of the ball game with a minute and 45 seconds to play, and it looks like Auburn has a great opportunity now to break a long drought. Auburn has not beaten Alabama since 1972 with a famous block kick game, 17 to 16 open uh, on third down, but uh, Lewis is throwing out of the pocket. This doesn't give him a chance to scramble or make the first down on the run. He's not as good out of the pocket. Something Alabama has added this year, and he just lays it up, perfect for interception. Great play by the 145 to play. Lionel James, going to run as wide as he can and as long as he can. And they've got him down at about the 25. Jeremiah Kessler. Alabama, first down in a minute, nine seconds to play, and Walter Lewis on the roll. He's got Ben Gross open. Jesse holds on to it. And it's a first down for Alabama up at the 36. 15 yards on the pass. One-point lead for Auburn, 23-22. Lewis back, getting a little pressure this time. Auburn, and he throws the ball. That may be grounding. It was Ben Thomas, number 91, that got him, and it's intentional grounding against Walter Lewis. 43 for a first down. He's got to go deep. He's got it over the middle, and it is incomplete. And with 13 seconds to play in the ball game, Auburn gets the ball. Quincy Williams was back, and he forced Walter Lewis to throw the ball. No, not James. But the safety man. Robert. Bob Harris. Bob Harris. Well, they'll count it down. It's a happy day for the Auburn Tigers and their partisans. They come storming out onto the field at five seconds remaining to play in the ball game. They're trying to tear down the goalposts. I don't know if they can ever restore order after this. They're probably just as well now to let things run off and time expire. Three teams have beaten Alabama this year, Tennessee, LSU, and Auburn, that haven't beaten them in over a decade.
like for you to do is I'd like for you, the ones that want to, I'm going to go back out there and thank our people. Yeah.